Hi, this little video looks a little deeper into moving averages and these figures represent a car sales company and these numbers are the sales, the number of cars sold in these months, this is July, August, September up to December. Now these numbers represent four point or four month moving averages. This is the average of those four months from July to October. It's plotted in the middle and if you added those four together divided by four you get 46. Similarly if we move along and start at August and move on to November adding those four together dividing by four gives us 48. Now the owner of this company has noticed a trend that the four point moving average is gradually increasing and he makes a prediction that the next moving average point is going to be 51. Now, imagine that he's at the end of November, has just got this figure, and would like to be able to predict what December's figures are going to be. He has predicted what the four-point moving average is, but he doesn't know what the sales were going to be in December, so let's call them X to begin with. How do we calculate X? Well, if we take the average of those four, then the answer is 51. So let's try and write that as an equation. Those four figures, three uh, numbers plus x, if we add them up and divide them by four, we get 51. So we've now got an equation that we can solve to find the value of x. What's the next line? Well, those three numbers add up to 150, so 150 plus x is 4 times 51. So x is 204 minus 150. 204 is 4 51s. 204 minus 150 is 54. So that is the value of x. So although the trend is gradually upwards, the December figures can afford to be a little bit less than November figures and maintain the same moving average. So it doesn't affect the trend. 